this very special build up to India Pakistan, a new studio. A new studio here for Red Sports. We've got our teams in Dubai and we are here because ultimately India Pakistan is all about fandom. It is about the celebration of fandom. And that's why we are here. We've got an Indian jersey, we've got a Pakistani jersey, of course, we are all supporting India. Joining me today, we've actually got a special tie up with uh, the Indian Institute of Social Welfare and Business Management. So we've got students of IISWBM joining us right through the Asia Cup as well. Damini, you see her every single day on Red Sports for Cricket. Shormishtha, you've seen Shormishtha during the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. Shojit. Shojit has joined us from the IISWBM NBA department and I am Borea as all of you might know. Let me start with Damini. Damini, India versus Pakistan. Your smile says it all. Does it still give you goosebumps? Any particular memory that you want to tell my viewers? India versus Pakistan is always the much you know anticipated and hyped up game before any you know World Cup. Unfortunate that bilateral series don't happen, uh, but uh, you know any World Cup, any Asia Cup, India Pakistan. I remember ever since you know from my first memories, ever since I started following cricket. I have always grown up hearing people talk about India versus Pakistan, the clashes, the you know. More than the players, it's the fan banter which I enjoy the most. Especially, you know, so do you abuse people on Twitter? No, I don't. <laughs> I, I don't believe in all that, you know, to be but, honest. But when India wins, is there some special food at home? No, we take it very uh, lightly. Yes, definitely. The uh, enjoyment is there, that good feeling is there that yes, India has won. But, uh, you know, we take it as a sport. I don't, okay. I don't believe in, you know, you know, abusing people or passing such comments okay. on Twitter. Good. Rojit, coming to you before I go to Shodhishtha, say so India wins on Sunday. Who's your favorite? Virat Kohli, Rohit Sharma? Virat Kohli. Virat Kohli. Why? <laughs> because even if he's not doing that well in the recent times as we have seen, but still he has very good potential. If we like look into his records, like past records, we can like check that he was the best bat batsman at the time. So, so wish list. Do you expect or hope Virat Kohli to fire an India to win or what's your wish list? Yes, I expect that from Virat Kohli. Okay. Even now. Okay. Uh, All of us do. <laughs> sure, Shamishta, you know, India Pakistan is India Pakistan because of the political significance attached. As 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 someone who has studied, you know, history, how important is this political significance that makes this rivalry work? Yes, it's the political aspect that is what makes this rivalry the mother of all rivalries because see, uh, the very conditions of the creation of these two nations, India and Pakistan, the partition, the creation of two nations out of uh, one, one country, you know, and all the issues, the political issues that have never left, you know, the uh, Kashmir, the whole Kashmir issue. Uh, each time there is a change of government in Pakistan, the Kashmir issue comes up. Um, you know, all the various other issues, the terrorism, everything. So, the India-Pakistan political uh, rivalry, the political conflict, it's always playing out. And, you know, when it comes to cricket, it's as if it's like a proxy war, you know. Uh, we have fought, uh, you know, several wars. So, it's as if all of that political baggage just comes and transports itself onto the game. So, which is why it is the mother of all rivalries. Absolutely. In fact, if you, if you think back, 2003, the, the Centurion clash, when Sachin actually got to that special innings of 98, he was worshipped. You know, his photograph was placed alongside the Ashok Chakra. The first call, first call was made to Sachin by the Chief of Indian Army. The army celebrated, if you think the backdrop is Kargil, what she just said, the army celebrated in Kargil when India won. So there is always this political significance. Now, I mean, uh, at the same time, there is also Aman Kiyasha, like you said, and you want to celebrate sporting banter. Uh, we have played this special on Red Sports between Chacha and Sudhir, yeah. the two fans. What is interesting, Chacha from Chicago has actually sent Sudhir tickets, flight tickets to go to Dubai. So this aspect of fandom, and, and I will go to Shomishtha on the diaspora. Are you, I mean, does that sort of make this rivalry special? That in one field at least Indians and Pakistanis can celebrate? This is actually what you know makes me like and be always extremely intrigued and attracted towards an India-Pakistan clash because as uh, Shumishtadi just said that if we just 
keep aside this political tension and all this interference aside i think india pakistan fans you know share a very strong mutual bond and a sense of respect for one another like you just stated so uh, sudhir and chacha like look at them one person is sending the other person tickets so this just shows the amount of mutual love and respect and this is what you know should be promoted should be encouraged okay and and just to put it on record if you go and see the way virat kohli was greeted by babar azam or the other way around the way shaheen afridi went to virat and said aapke liye dua kar rahe hain aapka form wapas aa jana you know i i i in dubai i was actually at sania mirza's house when babar and imam and some of the pakistani boys were there and one can see the respect that they have for the indian boys and it's a vice versa so the, this aspect this major aspect ke bare mein abhi hum log baat kar rahe the does that sort of give you hope about it i mean yes there is the 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 you know the politics and everything but india pakistan fandom you will see the tremendous kind of and especially abroad the two sides coming together does that give you hope i think that that's the only good like a uh, positive and the fair competition between the india and pakistan like they can do a war but in a very healthy manner okay. not in a very like we as we know yeah so that's what we can appreciate and that's what we can understand so i completely support that and we must talk about this more what we do take a look at neeraj chopra and arshad nadi take a look at the olympics neeraj would go and give arshad even his javelin take a look at all of these sporting stars and you will know the you know rohan bopanna and uh, uh, krishi uh, they played together in the park express talk to me about the dance Yes, so you just said Chicago, and uh, I was thinking back because I used to be a graduate student at the University of Chicago, and there is this neighborhood uh, in Chicago which is called Javon, Javon Avenue, and you've been there many times. We used to go there for dosa, samosa, kebabs, everything, and uh, so Javon uh, Avenue is uh, it's the South Asian neighborhood of Chicago where you have Indians, Pakistanis, Bangladeshis. and on the eve of an india pakistan uh, cricket match this devon avenue it starts to buzz it's particularly charged up and we've been there and uh, it's and at that level while you know there's that rivalry who's going to win who's going to lose but each one is digging into the others kebabs and you know the kebab houses are buzzing and each one is eating the others food so it's at that level you know it's the banter it's the engagement because without pakistan there will be no india and without india there will be no pakistan so that is the nature of the whole thing you know we can't also be without each other india pakistan it's the mother of all rivalries but there is also a lot of camaraderie a lot of engagement and uh, that is what you said is what makes sport greater than the rivalry damini if if i can sort of take off from there i mean she's talking about She was talking about the one, you know. She said samosas and kebabs and biryanis and bushkin and all that. That's okay, but you know, come Sunday, come the twenty. If I think back to last year, I think and 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 here I remember Manchester, for example, two thousand nineteen. It was becoming routine that India would beat Pakistan at a World Cup match. Last year was different. How important do you think that was for Pakistan fans? Because it was actually becoming one way street for India. I think. Actually, I'm saying it. That Pakistani win has added spice to the rivalry. Babar Azam and Mohammad Rizwan beating India by ten wickets. I thought was good for India. Good for India, and uh, I think this was much. It was a very long way, but it had to happen someday. We all knew, as genuine cricket followers, as genuine sports followers, uh, you know, we. Yes, we definitely. It's always a one-sided affair, and we would definitely want that. You know, India should always win. But that doesn't mean that it gives us the liberty that we start thinking less of the opposition, no matter who, whoever it is. And trust me, I would say that Pakistan winning last year that clash against India in that fashion really, you know, gave me a sense of. Uh, you know satisfaction that yes pakistan is finally back because i'll tell you you know i come from a family who follows cricket like we are a family who is absolutely cricket crazy so and from my mother i've heard that pakistan were a team who boasted of some of the world's big daddies okay so to see that pakistan struggling always you know making it so but obvious against india it never gave that positive vibe yes there was the satisfaction that india is winning but uh, it, it it never gave that positive vibe that come on we also want to see our opposition perform well to do well don't make yourself so vulnerable correct 
So any Pakistan player you mentioned Virat Kohli. I mean, any Pakistan player who gives you so much joy to watch because ultimately it's sport. You would love, for example, for me, Babar Azam the way Babar bats is so pleasing to the eye. Babar Azam is my favorite. If you are asking about the Pakistan players, uh, Babar Azam is my favorite. And, and have you always been a Babar fan, or over the last couple of years, given the way his performance rises? Exactly. The, when the when the cup is rising, I just converted from Afridi to Babar Azam. Actually, I was a Afridi fan before. Interesting. Afridi fan. And why so? Because the way he used to play, like that was mesmerizing. Like the charm and the interest and the craze he built up during the matches, that was amazing. Shahid Bhai, not bad. Shonishtha, coming to you again. I mean, uh, you know, when I when I think in terms of the the global sporting level, this India-Pakistan ranks at the very top. Now, obviously, this is interesting, isn't it? That sport has been able to carve out this niche that despite the politics among the players there always the politics aside they also know that on the pitch it's war but alongside there is this respect there is this friendship there is this bond virat bhaija this whole terminology talk to me about this see i think that is basic humanity isn't it i mean uh, as i said i mean you know i can't help but going back to chicago because you mentioned the fan uh, from there but uh, you know even at the university of chicago i remember one time uh, the boys they decided to play cricket and uh, they formed two teams india versus pakistan and we were all frowning that this is not supposed to happen because what if it degenerates you know this india pakistan match and uh, so you know it was going uh, you know uh, you know they were actually uh, it was going to be a fight between the boys but at some stage they kind of drew the line and they said okay we played the match we've gone so far we've uh, you know thrown out a few insults at each other now let's patch up times so this is basic humanity there will be you know the abuses uh, you know on the field that kind of thing and the rivalry but it's basic human nature it's civility and i think uh, pakistan is a country which is known for its high culture its ghazals its civility uh, so i think that I mean, you know, it would be mistaken to think that the players themselves don't invite that in their real lives. And Indians, of course, we are known for our hospital, uh, our hospitality, our culture. So, uh, and at various stages in history, we have had, you know, this, uh, you know, we we have extended our arms to uh, the neighboring countries. So it's it's all a judicious combination. Let's 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 get to some stories. Let's get to some stories now as part of this very special build-up. On Rev Sports, which is brought to you by by Thumbs Up and Activo Labs, our Asia Cup special is what you are watching at this point in time with Damini Shomishtha Shoji and myself. Now, it's time for some stories. Damini, any India-Pakistan story that you remember off the cuff that you want to talk about or personal memory? I've asked you one already, but. Any particular player related to a player or your own story that you want to share? There's a very funny incident which I watched. It I quoted from the 2019 World Cup that India Pakistan uh, clash. I remember a very funny scene. You know, uh, the moment the match tilted towards uh, India when almost India was on the verge of winning, the camera just panned towards the fan, and the scene was so hilarious. I just got to see. You know, and it's a very fun way. Uh, for fans to engage with each other from both the countries i just saw that a section of pakistani fans were like surrounded by indian fans that they won't let those pakistani fans leave the stadium like just watch and see the ending and then leave but the ending after the ending as you stated you know immediately we saw that you know they are putting arms around each other taking selfies are aisa to hota hai so it's like a sugar coated bitter pill exactly you know, there was the other side of this also 2017 champions trophy i had just come out of the oval all of us were surrounded and they were saying more come <laughs> so that is also there i mean india pakistan you know you were there in birmingham at the high and and this is a, again a story devashish said who is covering this particular tournament for red sports in dubai tell people about how the media are here so because you came out of the hotel and, and there was a small media gym back give people a sense of how it happens yes uh, at that time the tour that he is talking about uh, i was actually in that hotel with a toddler my daughter was a tiny baby then and i was wheeling the pram out of the hotel and it 
incidentally happened to be also the hotel where the Indian team was staying and uh, I was surrounded by media people outside the hotel some of whom I knew uh, in my personal capacity and uh, they said oh what's happening inside give us some news from inside the hotel so I said no I don't know anything or even if I knew I, I'm not going to I'm not supposed to do be doing this I'm just taking my baby for a walk but the other thing which I saw uh, in that hotel during that uh, tour which you talked about uh, I simply saw uh, someone who played, resembled Virat Kohli in the lift with me and I thought no I know he's staying in this hotel but this was not Virat Kohli in the lift with me and then I uh, caught hold of uh, two or three other Virat Kohlis because you know uh, he had a beard and uh, so you know all these fans they were dressed like him they had their uh, you know hairdo and everything like him so that was very uh, you know it was uh, funny and intriguing and the same same uh, elevator let me give you a story i mean it was after the india versus uh, england match and virat had played a decent innings india lost and it was at 10 pm the same hotel that shomishta is talking about the hajj regency in london and and virat and i had entered the elevator together and I was obviously tired after a day's work. He looked at me and he said, Aap thakar. I said, you know, you also played a match. And he had this huge, you were seeing these thumbs up bottles, same size, he had these 36 bottles on his head. So I'm like, Why, where are you going? And he said, I'm going to the gym. I said, you played a match. He said, Haan, main abhi agar aap dubara match khelne me loge, to khel So that's the kind of fitness that uh, Virat Kohli has. We are celebrating fun. We've already done this particular segment on fandom, celebrating Sudhir and Chacha. Why don't you take a look at that? And I'm going to come back with uh, Shoji and ask Shoji his fanboy moment. If there is any India-Pakistan match that he has gone to before I take the last round of questions. So yes, Sudhir and Chacha, we are celebrating for you on this particular show. लेकिन जीत की ब्रेकिंग न्यूज है लेकिन टीवी फूटने का टू तोड़ेगा तेरा टीवी बहुत पुराना हो गया मौका मौका पाकिस्तान मौका मौका लाज में तू मुके ते गाने डाला होगा दिल जलता है तो जलने दे पाकिस्तान ट्रॉफी ले गया धोनी आई लव यू बच चाचा शॉर्ट में ये शंख नाद करते हैं टीम इंडिया के लिए ये शंख नहीं ये है जंग ऐलान टीम इंडिया सबसे महान After this uh, segment, Shoji, any particular memory, any India-Pakistan match that you've gone to at the Eden Gardens that you want to share? Not in the Eden Gardens. Anyways, but uh, the semi-finals 2011. Yes, you were in Mohali? No, I, 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 I was the television. Okay, yes, so yes. talk to me about what happened is I was a child back then, I was like a kid, and what happened is we were praying to God. We, we all wish that India should win, India should win, and. Back that time, I remember I did something like I prayed to Allah even that <laughs> I prayed to Allah even that please let India win, please let India win. That's the only memory I can remember from that speech. That Mohali match, the quick story Indians did not eat. You know what happened? The Indian food truck got stuck behind 100 television uh, broadcast vans. And then the food, in fact, before that, in the morning when Gary Kirsten, the Indian coach, went to the breakfast room, it was blocked or cordoned off because the Pakistani Prime Minister and the Indian Prime Minister were both there. So the, the restaurant had been blocked off. So the players thought they'd eat at the ground. They went. Food did not reach because of these only ones. And by 12 o'clock, the Indians hadn't eaten a morsel. They were angry. Sachin Tendulkar called all of them and said, It's not brutal, 
तो बैट से जाके रन बनाओ और विकेट ले लो तो खत्म हो जाएगा फाइनल राउंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन इंडिया वर्सेज पाकिस्तान एशिया का Uh, you know happens and it's like i said earlier it's unfortunate that bilateral series don't happen because of unfortunate political tensions uh, and you know the wait waiting for every four years for a world cup for an india pakistan clash to take place perhaps hype set up even more so i think it's important but at the same time let's just keep it to sports let's just keep it to all the fun and frolic and a lot of competitiveness that's what I You remember one time in the West Indies, uh, one of Pakistan's legends had come and knocked on our door. Yusuf, Yusuf, uh, Muhammad Yusuf, and and both Yunus Khan and Muhammad Yusuf were both there. We were in Jamaica at that point in time, and uh, the the whole whole fandom, and that's what we are celebrating here—an autograph. I used to stand when Imran Khan, for example, walked past a billion times. These are memories that all of us. I uh, actually, since we are wrapping up, I just want to share a memory from the 1980s, which is when we were kids and growing up. I remember uh, thumbs up. Actually, it was thumbs up, and under the thumbs up cans, Correct. there used to be the pictures of cricketers, which we used to collect and paste in our uh, scrapbooks. And if it was a particular one which had high currency. Then it it could be traded for three or four such. So I remember as a kid, and these were very precious possess, uh, possessions. So uh, this is a beautiful story because those clicker books and the thumbs up clicker books. So this is from our childhood, and you were not there then, you guys. <laughs> but this is from our childhood. So okay. this Sunday, yeah. India Pakistan. Will you pray to Allah again? Pray for who? Yes. What's happening? Tell me. I think that this match is important because this will actually uh, boost their confidence to another level. If it happens. Or also help the, all the players to do well in other matches and also. So, do you think the start of the World Cup preparation actually starts from here? Yes, at the very first time. Yes. That's so clearly, as you see, as fans, people are excited, tense. We will pray. Damini will celebrate with food. We we all have our own little memories, and 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 we've seen people like Sudhir and Chacha. Dubai will be full. Everybody watching in any part of India, or for that matter, any part of Pakistan. Will be sitting in front of their television sets, hoping for their team to win. Let there be banter, but let there be no rules, because all these Pakistani players, some of them at least, are very good friends. We know how they are. Indian players, Pakistani players, they are together. As fans, we should also be together. Toxicity, we have that enough in our lives. Let's not have it in sport. That's all we have as per part of this particular show special on the India-Pakistan rivalry, brought to you by Thumbs Up and Active Labs. Damini Basu, thank you very much. Shamista Muktu, Shoji Chakravarti, and me, Bhuriya Madhudar, signing off on Red Sports tomorrow, same time, 6:30. Another very special build-up from the same studio and Devashish Sen in Dubai, along with our other colleagues on Red Sports. Keep watching. Keep fingers crossed for the Indians. Please.